my favorite part. She gets in the way, she runs in the waves. There we go. Whoop! Hey! Alright, so tonight, Panthers, Jets, and I wanted to let everybody know a little something. Good friend from Twitter, Dana, huge Panther fan, and she got me, she sent me basically a care package with a bunch of stuff on it. So we're just going to run through it real quick here. Uh, first things first, back here on Alley Corn, you're going to see, yeah, nice little banner there. I did not have one of those. So that's a beautiful thing. And then I've got one of these posters over here. And that's two Jaws from Dryden Hunt. That's awesome. And then also, Luongo decided, oh, I'll just sign that too as well. So that's great. So i got to get a frame for that and figure out exactly how I'm going to display that. Now, the other thing she got me is if you saw the Thanksgiving show, you know I took a shot, and it wasn't exactly in a Panther shot glass, and a few people kind of mentioned that, and there we go. All right, so Kermit has the rum, he's got the shot glass, and we're ready for two points tonight, So, but we got to get two points. All right, no, no two points, no rum. Now, the other thing that she sent, a couple other things. You will notice Kermit has something here hopefully the camera's picking it up and that is Marsha so and Smith pins and let me tell you I'm just tickled about that I just thought that was just I'm just so grateful that she sent me these things now she did send one other item and that I cannot show you because it's going to get wrapped up for Matthias for Christmas and when I uh, when he opens it up Christmas morning I will I will tweet out some pictures and we'll show it here because I got to get it framed and wrapped up for him. All right, guys, we got to get a big two points tonight because I really could use a shot of that room. All right, so I come in here, <laughs> I I come in here, and and Kermit still has the rum, but. Apparently, <laughs> apparently Bruce is dead or drunk. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Literally, guys, I'm not joking. I walked in and Kermit is just over here like, what And Allie Corn has not moved. And, and Bruce, Bruce is dead, guys. I don't know. Here he's drunk and really passed out. Kind of like Reimer is. <sighs> Why do we gotta suck? Alright, so we get out of the second period, tied. We were tied out of the first period. And actually, you know, pretty fun game, pretty decent game. A little bit of run and gun, a little bit of fighting, toughness, defense. Uh, you know, Reimer pretty much looks like Reimer. So pretty much typical Florida Panther game, which doesn't exactly bowl well for the end. But I guess we'll find out what happens. Um, Barkov, yeah, right. That nobody's happy about that. Uh, I guess a couple people at the at the arena actually noticed that he was not uh, on the ice, and then of course Goldstein mentioned it. So he he missed about half of the period, and that's not good, man. Can't we can't be without him um, because. I think they put Verbata on that top line. I mean, I mean you got to put somebody up there, and Verbata has been pretty much invisible. So um, that's not good. Hopefully, maybe he's just got like a stomach virus, right? We'll, we'll go with that one, right? He had to take a really bad leak. I don't know, guys. So, look, I, I, I really want two points 
and one shot. Two points! Two big ones! And, <laughs> all right, hey, Kermit, Kermit, did you see that? He tried to bite me, man. I want my shot glass. All right, Dana, so here we go, guys. That's the shot glass, and said I'd do it. And uh, um, um, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, <laughs> um, I'm really glad that this is what I get to do at the end of this video, right? So <laughs> I'll leave it at that. All right, guys. Look, I'm not a drinker, right? So we're, we're weak here, but that's good enough. That's a shot, huh? All right. 6-4 Panthers, and tonight the role of Alexander Barkov will be played by Michael Haley. <laughs> I'll, I'll take him in. Beautiful redirection, and he gets the game-winning goal, and James Reimer got to play his typical game and still get two points. Mm. That's not as smooth as it was the first time. That's interesting. All right, so obviously the only other thing on everybody's mind right now is Barkov, Barkov, Barkov. Uh, apparently I heard them say as they were coming back to the start of the third period that it looked like he kind of took a high hit. But, uh, you know, you don't know if that's a concussion or maybe a shoulder or a neck or, you know, a loose tooth. Who knows what it is. Hopefully it's nothing major because at this point, by the end of this game, we're out our best goaltender and, and in the Wongo and our best free agent signing with Dadnoff out. And, of course, now our best player with Barkov. We finished the game. And it's beautiful to see guys like Haley score and Colton Sevier. Man, the guy has really, really been having a good year. And there's been a few times and I've said, man, move him up, move him up. Uh, that might have to happen now, although... I don't know. I don't think I want to break up that fourth line. They're playing well, you know. I mean, yes, McKenzie does. Derek McKenzie actually plays a pretty good game. He, he, he really does. The one thing I've noticed with him, it for some reason, and I guess it's just bottom line skill level, he always seems to miss the net when he when he gets those like chip you know the chip shots when he's he's up there close to the net and it just seems like whenever he redirects the puck he misses which made me happy to see Haley in front he gets the redirection and we win the game so all right look we come back Saturday we got one more game at home and then it's a long 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 road trip. Um, I, I got to figure Reimer's going to be playing all these games, right? I don't think we have any back-to-backs. Actually, I think we do have a back-to-back -back coming up. So that's going to be really interesting to see if they just keep popping them out there at net. All right, we get the big two points tonight. And it's just a fun hockey game to watch. And especially with Luongo out. I mean, I know some of you and how you feel about it. But, you know, run and gun. I mean, this, this game here is pretty much how the score would be, except for the fact that Luongo was saving our ass with just an absolute career year. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We get the big two, and we'll be back Saturday for two more.